All right, welcome to another episode of Lifestyles. I'm your host, Craig Sewing. We put a great one together for you with all of our beautiful co-hosts. We're going all over America's finest city, from the coastal scene to the social scene, and we're going to dive into the real estate market here as well. Let's go ahead and get another episode of Lifestyles started right now. the pow in Poway today. I can't say it without smiling, but that's what we're doing today. We're here at the Orange Theory Fitness in Poway. We are gonna check out the exercise craze that is sweeping the nation. We're gonna be meeting with the head coach here, as well as Arlo Nugent. He's a top realtor in this area. He's gonna tell us why he loves taking this class so much and what makes Poway such a great place to live. Let's go inside and check out the action. <laughs> All right, joining me now, Nicole Tinoco and Arlo Nugent. Thanks for being with us. Thank you. Thank you. So Arlo, let's start with you. Uh, you know, the show's called Lifestyle San Diego, and one of the most quintessential things about the San Diego lifestyle is our emphasis on healthy living and fitness. What attracted you to Orange Theory Fitness, and why do you love it so much? Great question. So I have a friend and he just, he wears so many hats. He's full-time law enforcement. He's going back to school at San Diego State, has two kids, and he's a pretty fit guy. So we were on a road trip up to Montana and I asked him, Brett, what are you doing to stay in shape? Yeah. Like, how do you find the time? So he told me about Orange Theory Fitness, told me it's very high intensity. It's a 55 minute hour class. There are coaches, the accountability. He just started talking about it and I said, you know, I pass that place every single day on Poway Road and I see those guys in there and they, they're just, they're going like, okay, I, I have to try it. Random Sunday morning, called up, spoke with somebody at the front desk, first class, and it was just awesome. I mean, the energy here is amazing. Yeah, oh, you can tell. We could tell when we were watching the class earlier. Nicole, you are the head coach here at this location. Um, tell me what makes Orange Theory Fitness such a unique and effective workout. That's a great question. So here at Orange Theory Fitness, we're a five-zone heart rate-based interval training program, and we all wear heart rate, heart rate monitors. So this keeps you accountable up on the screen. So we can all be successful in this workout because if you're a power walker, you're new to exercise, you're young, you're old, maybe coming back from injury, what gets your heart rate up versus somebody else um, is gonna be different. Walk us through a typical class. What are the exercises? What's the equipment? I know you mentioned monitors. Absolutely, so again, you don't know what you're gonna get. We always have a great warm up about three minutes and then our main focuses are gonna be on strength, endurance, and power. So you're gonna see a different type of workout each and every time. We have treadmills, we have rowers, we have free weights, we use BOSU. Uh, but again, you don't have to think about the workout, you just come on in and uh, us coaches give you the best workout we have. Again, we're all personal trainers here, so we can really help and modify any exercises for you for your success. Yeah, I think, and Arlo, you mentioned that too, that's one of the benefits, right? Even though it's a huge class, you're just getting that dying training. to say that, yeah, absolutely. <laughs> that's something I like so much. It's not boring. It's not like, okay, today is chest day, so I'm doing bench press, incline dumbbells. You don't know. You show up here, every single workout is different. The one we had today was just crazy, yeah. and I love it because it's high speed, and you know, they do have a timer up. The coaches are keeping track of your time on different workouts, but I'll look up, it's like 47 minutes. At what class is almost over, and I'm sweating, and I'm tired, but it just, it goes by like that, and it's awesome. How often do you recommend people come in? Um, scientifically based here, we're looking for three times a week. Now the great thing is if you're hitting all of those 12 magic orange points, you don't need to work out the next day, right? Because your body's gonna be burning calories at a faster rate. So three times a week is what we look for. Um, we do get people that come in five times a week, but you know, three times a week's the magic number. Amazing, Arlo, you know, is this just a workout to you or is it more than that? It started in? as a workout, but you get to know people and like Nicole mentioned, we're high-fiving and it's yeah. just, we're pushing each other. 
and everybody's name is up on the screen. So you quickly associate people, you're like, okay, that person's really good, high-fiving them. You get to know each other. And the community that Orange Theory has built here, it's really amazing. It really speaks volumes to them. They do a lot of events outside of the gym. And sometimes it's, you know, hanging out at the beach, in Sanitas, it's wine tasting. They've really built a community here. Sure, it's easy to see when you're, when you're finally in here. It's my first time in an Orange Theory fitness studio. To be honest with you, one of the things I struggle with the most is dragging myself to the gym by myself again. I think a lot of people can relate. This has got to be different. You're, that's what we hear most often from people that come from a gym that they have never experienced a workout like Orange Theory Fitness. So what you get in here is definitely more of a team atmosphere, uh, especially if you've been an ex-athlete, you know, you've always been used to working out together, going into the gym, doing the things you always do, getting the same results. This is gonna be completely different. Again, we're all here to team build, work together. Today, for instance, we had three people working together as a team, from the treadmill to the rower, rower to the floor, and going on together. We're high five in the whole team and again it really creates that sense of now I know these people's names I know what they work out like and I want to be on their team so again and I want really to beat them too right, right. I'm gonna help them up in here yeah. but again it's all for such a great common goal that it really pushes you outside that comfort zone and really gets that feeling of that team atmosphere as a lot of ex athletes really enjoy awesome well I gotta come back and try this sometime with you come on uh, in but between now and then you're taking you're gonna show us a class right oh yeah I'm happy to do that can't wait all right, let's go. Let's go. Perfect. I feel like I need to give you a second to catch your breath here. It, it was intense, but I think I'm good. Thank you. All right, all right. Yeah. We'll move on with the questions. Um, sure, let's do it. You talked about the community feel here at Orange Theory Fitness. Mm -hmm. Since this is your turf, tell me about the community feel in Poway as a whole. Sure, well, it translates outside of this gym. Lots of family-based events. There was just the rodeo, the Poway parade, Poway days. Lots of events here. They're known for schools, family. Love it here. Yeah, and um, we were talking earlier about this maybe misconception that as we're entering the winter months, this All is actually right. a really bad time yeah. to sell. Tell me why that's not necessarily true. So I love that you asked that question. It comes up all the time. People are like, oh, fourth quarter, everybody's traveling, their mind's not in buying. Right. It's one of the best times to sell. So the thing is, as a seller, you have less competition. It's not like the summer months where everybody sees the open house signs everywhere and they're just like, oh yeah, let's put it up at an outrageous price and if somebody happens to bite, maybe we'll sell. The most motivated buyers are in the fourth quarter. So what that means for a seller, one, you have less competition as a seller, and then two, the buyers looking are motivated. They're buying because they have to. So what that means is they're not coming in with low balls, they're not throwing an offer at you and then in five other listings pop up and now all of a sudden shiny object syndrome, oh, let's go over here and go to that one. And then once you're in contract, people, they're just in it. I mean, they're not coming with these crazy requests for repairs. It's like, okay, we had a job transfer. Thanksgiving's coming up. I would like to celebrate the holiday with my family in this new house. I, I see that every single year. Got it. And so it actually is a great time to sell. I was going to use the word desperate to buy, but I like motivate, motivated. They're self. motivated. Yeah. We, we say motivated. That's but why the, you're the pro. <laughs> the reality is, though, a lot of them are desperate. Sure. So on the seller side, that really is a benefit to have that type of motivated and desperate buyer. It really does work. Well. Sure. Well, great news if you are looking to sell quickly. And if you are and you're doing that in the Poway area, Arlo is the premier realtor here. He is the man to call. Thank you so much for bringing us out today. I had a blast. Oh, absolutely. Glad you did. It was fun. Thank you. We have a winner. Johnny, you won. You won. Grandma? There are certain times in life when you need a neutral third party to call the shots. 
Keep it fair. Choose Oakwood Escrow. Molly O'Dell here, and I have found the cutest nail salon here today in Forest Ranch. And gentlemen, before you tune out, they definitely have something here for you too. I'm with the one and only superstar agent, Lisa Herndon. We're gonna get our nails and toes done and talk to the manager, Esther, all about how this nail salon sets itself apart from the others here in San Diego. So Lisa, you brought me out here today to the community of Del Sur and we're sitting here uh -huh. with Esther. The manager of Cure Bar. Welcome to Cure Bar. Thank you. I am so excited to be here. So this is your, this is right in your backyard. It is. It literally is almost in my backyard. <laughs> and I just love this place because it's just so unique and it's so much fun. And it's a great place for ladies and gentlemen to come and get pampered a little bit. And uh, yeah. So this is like your go-to spot on Saturday go -to morning? go-to spot on Saturday morning. It's a good place to be. I love it. Okay, so I walked in, Esther, and this is totally like a different vibe than your traditional like pop-in nail salon. Definitely. We wanted to set this uh, idea uh, different. You know, Nina, who is the owner, had been planning this for a few years now, and with her idea, it's blown up. So every day we've been very busy. So we walk in, and there's literally two sides. Yes. So we have one for the females, and then a really unique touch, we have a side for the males. Definitely, we have our leather recliners with our brick wall and masculine bowls for them. And then too, we also cater to the kids. So it's a family friendly environment for everybody to come in. Oh my gosh, so Lisa, I know you have little ones. Do you ever bring your daughter in here for a little girl's day? She, well, she's at the age where she would like to actually have a manicure or pedicure. So, <laughs> so she's like, no, but yes, day. you know what, but it's fun. We can come in, sit together, have a little mother-daughter time, get pampered a little bit. It's nice. I love it. So other than the unique sides and the amazing decor, whoever did this, Nina, wherever you are, you're coming to my house next. Yes, yes. Can she I, travel? I, I, can you come decorate my home, please? <laughs> It's amazing. So tell me a little bit how you guys are different than other nail salons out there. Well, for one, when you walk in, you don't smell that awful acrylic smell. You oh, know, I guess um, I didn't really. It's yeah, true. Yes, definitely. We don't do acrylics for that reason. Um, not good for the nail bed, you know, and also to breathe all that in. Also for our techs, it's not healthy for them to, you know, be living in that day after day. Um, we do all natural uh, gel manicures. Oh, we wow. do pedicures. We have... An, Every service catered to family. Um, again, uh, cleanliness is very important. I was noticing that when after uh, a couple of the guys over here got pedicures, you guys didn't just like pull out a nasty bag and like wipe it off with some sanitation. There's somebody over there like scrubbing the moles. Mm -hmm. No, and that's what sets us apart. We, every bag that comes out is brand new. Every file, every buffer, every pumice uh, bar gets thrown away afterwards. And we also have Rosie who's full time and she keeps the salon immaculate. Yes, and there are days that we are so busy that she's there to keep it in order. <laughs> yeah. So that's that's really nice. So it lets like the nail techs and the people doing the toes kind of focus on that, and not having to clean. It's really good, and I follow you guys on social media religiously. And I know you do too. Yes. <laughs> and I am dying about the nail designs that you guys yes. do. Definitely, we have clients coming from all over, from Poway, from uh, uh, Temecula, everywhere, just coming for our nail art. Uh, we have nail artists that are, I mean, just by looking earlier what, with one of the clients leaving, you saw for yourself. Yeah. Oh, so, yeah. yeah. So and it's all by hand. Definitely. That's what I think is so interesting. Yes. Oh it's not gosh. a template. It's not no, like a No, it's spray. drawn. It's all by it's, hand. It's all drawn by hand. I can barely draw a stick figure. Right. <laughs> That's me too. <laughs> that, that's amazing. So you guys, if somebody wants to come in and they want to get their nails and toes done, Appointments, walk-ins, what's the best for you guys? Yes, you can book online. Well, it's uh, thecurebar.com. Book your own appointment. So if you want to get services done at the same time, so you just book it at the same time. If not, you can just walk in. We have our clients who just, you know, are eating dinner at the restaurants, and then after here they want to come and get a pedicure. So we can do that too. So That's real. I mean, busy professionals like yourself, Lisa, being able to go online and book your a salon appointment right there, Sometimes I don't even have time to make a phone call. Going <laughs> online is so much easier, and yes. there it is, it's done. And then it's also nice that they take walk-ins, because sometimes, too, people don't quite know what their schedule's gonna be like. And, you know, if they come in and, and they have availability, there you are. I love it. Makes and it easy. I'm always looking for things to do on, like, Saturday mornings, like date days, you know, mm -hmm. when you're home. 
I love that I could bring my boyfriend in here and like sit down, he gets his toes done, I don't have to hear him like gripe about the go like the girl gossip going right, on. Right. Sit over there, watch your sports, honey, and then we can uh -huh. grab, s there's so many good restaurants over here. Right, wave to each other across the car. Yeah, and then go ahead and spend fight. some time together, but not yeah. too much, yeah. you know how that is. <laughs> Definitely, at, and at the same time, some of our clients, our female clients like to sit on the men's side, and that's okay too. So oh, is that an option? They, yes, Single ladies option. go sit on the male oh, side? Oh, uh -huh. yes. <laughs> for everybody here okay. <laughs> <laughs> and all I mean this whole entire center is really blowing up Lisa as you know it's, since it's in your backyard mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. so adding a cute boutique nail salon that really caters you know high-end but without the super high prices right right and what I that's what I love about this community and about this particular center is that it's unique things this isn't a bunch of chains I mean we do have the target and we do have little things like that but everybody needs a target but otherwise it's this <laughs> boutique -y little feel of these different businesses that are, you know, owned by individuals, not big corporations. Yes. So it's always nice to really support, you know, those small business owners too. I love places like that. I love places where I can walk in and the owner is sitting at the front desk. Mm -hmm. They're not some mm -hmm. detached, like, you know, robot in the background. I can actually talk to, you know, what was your idea behind it and get the whole entire concept. And you feel loved yes. right. more. It's different. I love it. Okay, so Lisa, I could sit here and talk about girly stuff all day with you. <laughs> And I think we typically do. We do. But today we do have to bring up a wonderful new property I saw in Poway. It's right down the street. Right down the street. Tell we do. It. We have a beautiful new Poway estate that just came on the market. It's off of Espola and Del Poniente, um, out there in that very exclusive neighborhood. Outside of the gate, though. Some people don't like to be inside the gate. This one's outside of the gate. And it's 4125 square feet, five bedrooms, absolutely beautiful views. 360 degree views, nobody behind you, close to trails, beautiful pool, spa, it's absolutely immaculate. Oh my gosh. Okay, well tell me, school districts in Poway are amazing. Yes, school districts in Poway, and, and we here, even though we're in Del Sur, Forest Ranch area, are in the Poway Unified School District okay. too, right here. So it all, this? It, it spans, Poway Unified School District is not just the city of Poway. Okay. <laughs> it, it expands. So, Educating um, me little by little. Yes, so you get the best of both worlds, you know, wherever you may be. But um, not only with that listing that we just talked about, but this area too, Forest Ranch, Del Sur, Rancho Penasquitos, Rancho Bernardo, these are all Poway Unified School Districts. Oh my gosh, and they are, I mean, we know Nina, the owner of this place, did go to Westview, so that's uh -huh. part of Poway School District, yes. right? Yep. And look, that is like breeding some really good people. These are it really is. great schools over here. It's, it's amazing. Well, I am looking forward to getting pampered here. And coming back with all the girls, I'm like, this is definitely a place that I want to have events or girls days, yes, things like that. Is there a such thing as like a Friday happy hour party that we can start here? Sure. <laughs> well, I, we'll we can make start it. it. Let's do this. I love that. Okay, I love it. Thank you, thank you no so much problem. for having us out today, thank Esther. Thank you for coming thank out. Esther. We really appreciate it. Of course. And Lisa, thank you always for introducing me to the best spots in your neighborhood. I try. Well, I was planning on going back to the office today, but after being introduced to the Kier Bar here in Forest Ranch, there's no way I'm going to do that. I'm going to get myself a Manny and a Petty. Welcome. What are you having me doing here? Trust me, this is going to be luxury. <laughs> We're here with top producing luxury real estate agent, Sean Cadell of Willis Allen and Christie's International. Sean, thank you so much for having us today. Absolutely. Normally, we're in these hidden gems all around the ocean and luxury, and today, shoot came with um, a little construction couture. 
So tell me about where we're at today. Well, today we are at the Living Lab of Ocean Discovery Institute. And we're here today because we are building this in City Heights for the community for education. And I'm here with Carolina, who's also on the board of directors of Ocean Discovery with me. Carolina, it's so wonderful to meet you. Uh, you I got to learn a little bit about what's going on. So tell me what the Ocean Discovery Institute, what's happening behind us, why we're wearing these hard hats. <laughs> so right now we're under construction. As you can see, this is the living lab. And what's really unique about this building is that it's gonna provide si hands-on science education to young people here in City Heights. Um, we'll be able to host in-school programs as well as out-of-school programs. So in-school programs, we'll be able to have elementary school and middle school teachers from all of City Heights walk their classrooms here and really use our laboratories. And then we'll also be open um, after school and on weekends for young people and their families to come here and do hands-on science activities. So it's really gonna be a place where our students can uh, have high expectations for themselves and really believe that science is something they can do and a scientist is somebody that they can become. That's beautiful. So Sean, how did you get involved? Well, I've been involved with Ocean Discovery Institute for 17 years. And so 10 years ago, our executive director, Sheriff Fissler, came and said, I want to build a building in City Heights. Well, this building became this amazing living lab. And it was so awesome because when she said, I want to build this building, we were a small organization called Aquatic Adventures at that time, which transformed into Ocean Discovery Institute. And of course they said, okay, Shara, we're gonna build a building, <laughs> but how do you get the funds to build a building? So 10 years later, with partnership with our donors and also with the San Diego Unified School District, we're here today and it's unbelievable the partnership between both groups to make this possible. And there's another partnership that we're gonna be um, utilizing here, which is the partnership with San Be Feeding San Diego, mm -hmm. where many of our students will have healthy meals provided to them That's during so after school awesome. and on weekends. It was awesome because we connected the executive directors from both organizations. And for kids to learn, they actually need to have great nutrition. So this is gonna be one of the sites that was chosen to do that. So Carolina, not only do you sit on the board of directors, but you also know so much about this because you are a testament of it. So tell us a little bit about where you started with the program. Definitely, so I began with the organization when I was 14 years old, a freshman in high school, and I went through most of their programs, and really what I was after at the beginning was an adventure. But little did I know that I was gonna become part of this community of support that was gonna empower me to become who I am today and really, you know, help me take advantage of all, all the opportunities that come my way, like being part of the board and learning from mentors, amazing mentors like Sean Cadell. Well, it's such a testament because when Carolina was like 14 years old, she was this cute little kid that transformed into this like super successful, so like, cute. but super successful business woman. And it's so awesome. To, and she's our first person to be on the board of directors that actually went through our programs. Mm -hmm. And one of the really neat um, things that I've been able to do with Sean is um, gala. So I'm now the chair of the um, gala committee um, and we are hosting our gala on November 4th um, at the U.S. grant. Um, but Sean was there before me and um, he did it for many wand, years huh? I was to a, help yeah. <laughs> I'm so happy fund. to hand that over because I was the gala chair <laughs> many many years and our, our first gala we started or our first like actually fundraising event we raised like seven thousand dollars and we thought oh my god seven thousand dollars with like 40 people well now we have 300 people it's called bubble up it's black tie and this is this amazing event and we raised over three hundred thousand dollars which is one of our main sources of funds to yeah, do Yeah, that's what right, because not only do you have donors, but this is also, like he said, one of the biggest events, the biggest fundraising event. So what can people expect from the gala? What, how does that kind of go? It's, it's an amazing experience because it's, um, you know, auctions, it's interactions with students, and it's dancing. So um, it really allows our donors and our students to become connected. Um, magical things happen. So sometimes, you know, you're, you're, you have a student that's sitting at one of these tables that makes connections with um, an environmental consulting yeah. company, and then they get a job. Um, that happened at my table where Jorge was uh, sitting at a table and Kenda from KP Environmental, she gave an internship to Jorge. It's turned into a full-time career in environmental That's sciences, which was his dream. Exactly. So it was awesome it turned out that way. What are some of the auction items that are going? Well, we have Rancho La Puerta, Turtle Island, and then we actually have really interactive ones too. For example, I'm co-sponsoring a dinner that we're gonna do right here in the kitchen in the living lab. And Chef Amaya from Trattoria Positano, my favorite restaurant, is going to be cooking the dinner. And we partner with Seaside Market and my favorite wineries from Napa. So it's like super great dinner. 
That's so wonderful. Sounds and there's a kitchen because you were saying that there's residents that come here. So there's actual scientists that come here to help the kids learn. Exactly. So on a month to month basis, we have different scientists from all over the nation and sometimes all over the world that come and that will help us, you know, improve our curriculum or just interact with students so that they build the confidence to become those scientific leaders for tomorrow. There's nothing like it here. So what are some of the programs that the kids are experiencing? So we get the opportunity um, with the partnership for the San Diego School District. Um, we allow all the uh, teachers to bring their classrooms. And we have two different laboratories that they can use. They can use the SciTech lab or the Eco Lab. And really, it's a place where they can you know, dissect um, sea stars or sharks or hold fast from the kelp forest. Or they can even do electrophoresis um, and really analyze data, uh, sorry, DNA and data, things like that. That's so incredible. I feel like I'm learning so much, so I can't even imagine, especially being in this location that it is. And you're hoping that this is gonna be, you know, catch on like wildfire and spread throughout more than just like the county and across the nation. Well, it's a model for the nation. We're actually uh, thinking about duplicating or investigating duplicating in the Washington DC area. That's great. <laughs> you were telling me earlier that the Ocean Discovery Institute is a state-of-the-art building, but not only that, tell me a little about how the location and the planning came into play. Definitely, so we chose City Heights because um, it is completely rich in diversity, but we know that it comes with a lot of challenges. Um, a lot of our students here don't get rigorous science programming, so this will allow them to you know, be able to use our different types of labs. They could come here to use our eco lab and dissect things from like starfishes to sharks, or they could come here and use our SciTech lab and do things like electrophoresis and DNA analysis. And one thing I wanted to add too, this is one of the only LEED Platinum Certified buildings in San Diego, and we're also net zero energy, which That's is awesome. incredible. So nothing but luxury from Sean Cadell, right? That's right. <laughs> so speaking of luxury, I know you always have that one little hidden gem, something going on in the luxury real estate world. So besides like the great ocean view um, homes that I have in Rancho Santa Fe and equestrian estates, I also just signed up the best project to hit Cardiff in years, as long as I can remember, six new homes that are going to be built on the west side in the walking district from Contemporary to Beach Chic and also Craftsman. So that's coming up soon too. Awesome. Well, congratulations Thank to you. your project in Cardiff and congratulations to you both Thank for you. this incredible project coming to fruition. <laughs> <laughs>